how could this go so wrong? You had this blowout heard around the world where a door panel blew off a 737 MAX plane, the Lion's Air and Ethiopian Airlines crashes that killed 346 people. Well, this story was about the Boeing company. Boeing is such an essential company in supplying aircraft. Obviously, this has become a huge problem for America's airlines because they can't get enough planes now. And if you can't get enough planes, you don't have enough capacity at certain airports. You have to reduce frequencies. The strain that put on the airlines this story became essential to do. So initially I went back and I looked at a lot of the history of the company and the uh, CEOs who would run it. Three out of the last four CEOs are veterans of General Electric. I had studied a lot of the issues that GE had where these CEOs were kind of big picture, big narrative guys, a lot of personality, but they were not down on the factory floor listening to the workers who were putting in the bolts and running the, the whole uh, production process. That wasn't their thing. They do not need these big picture guys. They do not need an obsession with short-term profitability, everything they've been suffering for. They need a hard stop and a big change. When you have a huge story that's very competitive, everyone's on it. My edge on the story, and you need an edge on a story, believe me, was that I just had very good long-term contacts on the supplier side and on the airline side, which was very helpful. You can never betray them uh, ever in terms of off the record or not for attribution and ever using or suggesting anything that can be traced back to them. And then you build up a lot of loyalty over time and then those sources come back and enrich future stories. Boeing was, was helpful, not on the record, but help, very helpful. 